Hi lovely people, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to prepare for you mini soft mandazes. Yes, so that's what we're going to prepare for today and I hope you're going to join and catch up with me as we do. So very fast I'm going to show you on what ingredients I'm going to use. So here I have some flour, all purpose flour and then I have sugar, I have cinnamon, margarine, I have some baking powder, I have eggs, I have my milk and I have my tools. So I'm just going to use those simple ingredients because not everyone who has everything or can afford everything to prepare mandazi. So let's do this simple mini soft mandazi. Let's do it. To start with, you have to measure your flour and my, my flour was 600 grams. So I added 5 teaspoons of sugar, 1 tablespoon of baking powder and half teaspoon of cinnamon. Start them together and On a separate dish, crush your eggs and add a cup of milk and start the mixture together and make sure the concussion is smooth. I did, I did this for like a minute to ensure that my egg cannot be seen but only what you can see is milk and egg. Create a well at the center of the flour and pour your milk and egg concoction at the middle and now mix it properly.
can see my door has started becoming hard and now I can't continue using my wooden spoon. All I have to use now is to go in with my hands and continue pressing until the door becomes more tougher. Make sure the door is not sticking on your finger. So my dough has become hard and I can't continue pressing it on in the dish so I've put it in a clean surface where I've poured some flour in it and I'm continuing to add flour to make it harder and not sticky. with this leave it in the dish to sit and now as you can see now i'm trying to clear up the working surface and remove the dishes that i was using as i wait for the dough to sit for 15 minutes take your dough and divide it into two balls or as many balls as possible depending on the size of the dough that you have. I did mine into two balls because my dough was not so much big and I was not making so many mandas. Continue pressing it until you make sure the thickness of the thinness is not too thin or too thin. For it to give good size of the As I'm preparing this, I decided to put my oil to be heating up so that once I'm done, I'll just put my mandazi and continue cooking. And continue cooking smoothly. Take a sharp object or a cup and try not to make designs all the sizes or decorations that you want to make on your dough. For me, I just decided to slice them and cut them into smaller shapes so that at least my mandazi will have a good shape. I've taken small pieces of my mandazi and now dipping them inside the cooking oil for them to cook. Turn them around and make sure if one side is brown, turn them for the other side to be brown. Continue doing this until you are done with all the mandazis that you have.
as you can see they are not oily and they're very soft and golden for these I enjoy the process and I love them so that's it guys for today these are my mandazis this is how they are and once you see inside they are so puffed mm. with a cup of milk